Welcome back to Modern Minecraft. It's been a little while, but I'm back to the Create Above and Beyond mod pack for 1.16. And I believe the last video I made on this mod was to do with the More Minecarts mod. I was playing around with flow control, minecart signaling. As you can see here in the background, I got the mod here in JEI. Basically, if you've got certain colored flags in a chest minecart, and it goes over the corresponding detector plate, it will emit a redstone signal. Emit a redstone signal. And if you've got, you know, turn rails or whatever, it will direct traffic accordingly. I kind of wanted to show it off here. Right now I've only got two minecarts. I've got one handling wood and one handling charcoal. You can imagine that all this infrastructure is just handling those two resources. So this is incredibly inefficient. It's just kind of a fun little um, puzzle I would say so definitely don't recommend if efficiency is your goal. I'm just trying to work out the best way to explain this but uh, running north and south in my base is this minecart track here. This is my large berry farm here which gives me currency to buy whatever I need. I don't really have a lot automated in this world basically I've got a massive berry farm that's making coins and then I just go up to my trading stations here and buy whatever resources I need. It's not efficient, but the way I like to play. Yeah, main artery. Mine carts go this way, and then they come back this way. Let's see if we can pause one of them here. This is what I call a flow control station. Basically, if the mine carts are bumper to bumper, one of them will go over Hit this detector which then inverts this power locking rail if i just click on it it actually inverts it usually they're they've got juice if a minecart goes over there's a redstone and it stops the guy behind it. taking a quick peek we got an oak chest minecart with the blue flag just to be difficult i have another cart with a red and a blue flag with charcoal and then dirt the reason I have dirt is the minecarts start to get a little slow with too much weight in them. I probably should remove a couple stacks of charcoal because I notice a full minecart like this starts to get really slow on this home run. I also can see that I haven't included many power boosts on this side so I need to fix that later. But anyways, we got blue and red for wood, charcoal sorry, and then blue for just the wood. So if we put this guy back to where it should be. You'll see he goes over this detector there's some redstone logic basically this redstone picks up that the blue flag was over here under the repeater and then torch tower there there which then turns this so basically unpowered you go straight if there's a flag it will turn the minecart so there's a few design philosophies i've had here see how it just separated them like that Every time I turn, I try to do one of these flow control setups here, just to make sure that another minecart doesn't follow the first one into its area. And then same with merging traffic. So we've got traffic coming this way and it merges with the main artery. So the main artery's got priority. So if a minecart's here, it will pause this and lock it. And then after it's gone, this guy will resume and go this way. And same with this line. See if we can see this minecart here. See how it just flip, flipped like that? Okay. Another flow control station. Again, these try to be before there's any kind of a turn just to make sure the traffic split up a bit. So that minecart clearly had a red and then it also has the blue flag in it because I don't want what's the best way to explain this this is the blue minecart he just goes straight through you got a flow control station here this minecart here has got blue and red and the reason it goes up like that is because I don't want it to also go this way which is picking up my wood got my sawmill here 
Got my resources. Anything extra just gets tossed into the meteorite crater. See, that's where the saplings are headed. I need to put lava there. I don't have the technology yet, but I want to get a brass funnel so more than just one comes out. Because if we look here, it fails so slowly, as you can see. I had to sleep real quick, it was getting dark. But yeah, these andesite funnels only allow one stack out at a time. It's too slow, so I need to really get a brass funnel. I just don't have this brass machine because I have not gotten into electron tubes yet. I have spent far too long messing around with rail cars. Basically, powered locking rail. This is the loader. You can see right here. Pretty cheap to make. Then the unloader. What happens is, is it's set to leave one item in the loader slot. It doesn't take all of them. Then we have activate output during inactivity. So if there's no items getting transferred, it outputs redstone, which then inverts this and then lets the minecart go. These rails are awesome. I wish vanilla powered rails worked like this because they have the arrow, so they will not let you know minecarts go backwards. They're awesome. And consider all minecarts. Apparently you can lock minecarts. I don't know what that's about. And then redstone. You can do comparator, but I haven't found a use for that personally. So it doesn't matter if it's the unloader or the loader station. Every one of my things are configured like this. So as soon as there's no items getting transferred, it uh, carries on. This prevents things stopping and you know, stopping and waiting to get full. If there's no items to load, it just takes off again. But coming up here, before we merge, we make sure nothing's coming down this way. Well, that's that. And the charcoal, I'm actually picking up right now, but I'm not really dropping it off anywhere. That's why this artery just kind of goes like this and then loops back around. It doesn't have a drop-off point. Only the wood does. When the wood's coming around here, if you remember, both minecarts have a blue flag, so they're both going to turn on blue, and you'll see why shortly. Minecart gets pretty slow there. I need to put some boosts. Again, a flow control station because right up here we've got red now. Same setup. There's the red minecart. Here's the red minecart. So he turns. We'll go this way. Another flow control station. And same thing, we have a loader. It's taking charcoal from this drawer. And then it goes back and it merges. Originally, I was going to have an unloading station that dumped into this trading station to get money for wood. I have such a bad bottleneck right now with oak that um, this is just going to get retired. And it's too congested. It's too congested having stuff here. It's for me to pick up these coins, which I will do later. There's a lot going on. I'm going to have to rethink that. And then, of course, wood is getting dropped off, getting cooked, and making charcoal. Following the blue path, blue goes up here. We have another flow control station. And then it drops wood off into here, which, of course, does the... Um, little assembly process to make the kinetic mechanism and for right now I'm just buying andesite alloy instead of going through all of these steps I'm just buying these and doing this to make these again not efficient but my plan is just to make my berry farm Bigger, faster, stronger, and wider. Longer. It's not bad. Take a quick peek at it here. Yeah, we got 33 stacks. I just kind of occasionally slap these in here. What's going to be tricky though was as I start adding more and more things, I think I might start getting vertical. 
And as a final note, if somebody has any ideas or suggestions for me as to how to build this better, or maybe I'm doing something silly and I haven't noticed, please let me know. It's been very difficult to find examples of what people have built with this mod. That's the main reason why I'm making this video. Hopefully I could inspire somebody to also make a cool rail cart network, or at least help me improve upon, improve upon mine. Thanks for watching.